Good morning, everyone. It is so great to see you all. Um, I have a lot of requests for learning to draw baby animals. On the top of my list is kittens, puppies, and pandas. Today I'm going to show you how to do a kitten. So here's a r adorable, really cute kitten. And I sketched it uh, out and can show you how to do a kitten that looks something like this. Okay? Now, to do this, first thing we need to do, oh, there's a puppy <laughs> in a teacup. All right. So in order to do this, we need to have our materials. We need a pencil. And I'm learning that it's best to have two sharpened pencils. It's also good to have an eraser, a sharpener, just in case the two sharpened pencils get too dull. I always like to have a marker or a Sharpie, but these are not necessary. You can see my kitten is drawn with pencil. Okay. And then something to color with, whether it be crayons or color pencils. My choice for this kitten would probably be color pencils, but I really like both. Okay, so let's get started. First thing is getting the head shape. So, I like to start with a kitten drawing sort of a curved line like this, slightly curved, and then I'm going to make a rectangle shape, kind of like that, okay? Then I want to make a center line. If this is hard for you, you can always pinpoint where the center is here and here, make a dot and meet your dots, or you can use a ruler. Okay, now I would like to go maybe about right here, and what you're going to do is curve this around to meet that center dot. Okay. And that's going to be the beginning of my kitten head. All right. Now, I would like to now move this up just a little bit more, curve it up a little bit more. We can erase this. We don't need that anymore. All right. Now. What really makes a kitten look like a kitten is that its ears are low. So you want to make these ears like triangles and really low. Okay. So I just barely touched this corner up and now the hardest part here is making these ears symmetrical. So work on that a minute. Okay. Erase what you don't need anymore. This should curve up and over. They're much better. Okay. Then what we're going to do is go in about right here go up and into the point, up and into the point. Beautiful. All right, now the next thing we want to do is plot out with guidelines where our nose is, which is going to be about right here, and where our eyes are. Kittens have big heads, big foreheads, everything's still growing. Those ears are actually going to come up more on top of the head uh, when the kitten uh, grows to be an adult. Okay, so we want to start with the eyes. You always have eyes, at least one eye apart. 
and I'm talking about just the circles right now, okay? And then we're gonna have a triangle here for the nose. I'll make my triangle just a little bit bigger. I'm gonna make a little line like that for now. Okay? The next thing I'm going to do is kind of give a little sort of eyelid, but basically what I'm going for is this almond shape. So you've got your, you have your guidelines here. Use those guidelines to help guide you to get this proper. Okay? So then I'm going to go around like this. And then I'm going to get my eyes back in there like that. Now inside the eyes is another almond shape. Like that. Okay. I'm going to make those darker so that you can see them better. eye here. Keep this round. And I'm going to have a highlight in the eye here. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is define the mouth and facial area. So the way to do that is to give that kitten nice big whisker pads like this. Now kids, I'm drawing dark and I have a very dark pencil, but I want you to Try to draw as light as possible when you're drawing. And then you can give it a cute little mouth and one, two, three whiskers. I'm going to erase what's inside here because I can see that. Then right here, it, we need to find the nose. So if we go down and meet the nose from the eye with a curve, like that, starting to look more and more like a kitten. Now, let's bring this line down just a little bit farther and round off the face a little bit more. At this point, I'm also going to make this nose a little bit darker so you can see that a little better. And I'm going to erase now my guideline. Okay, so now we have a cute kitten head. Okay. I still see some guidelines in the eyes, which I will touch up in, in a little bit. Um, let me just fix that. In that. There we go. Now the next thing you can we will work on is the body. So if we go about right here and curve in, and go right here and curve in. If we make it too long, it's going to look more like a cat than a kitten, so we don't want the body to be too long, but it's nice to get that curve in there, okay? Next thing we're going to do is give the kitten sort of a V-shape right here, 
right underneath the chin. We're going to bring this down. Bring another uh, line here for the leg. Okay, we're going to do the same thing here. But this here becomes the arm. So we do this. Now, to make the pause, if you do a half circle, and then kind of flatten it at the bottom. That makes some cute pause, doesn't it? And then you can kind of add a line here which shows the back of the body, okay? Clean up my pencil a little bit here. Okay, now let's add a body. The back of the body, I mean. So we're going to go around like that. And this paw would be a little bit higher up. So I'm going to do this. Erase the lines I don't want. And let's give this cute kitten a tail. And we can't forget the Christmas hat, can we? So, what I like to do is make my Christmas hat extra wide. So I'm going to go past the, the head here a little bit. Make it round up here like this. I'm going to go over like that. Make this come in like this. Bring this down like that. And give it a little puff. bit wider. Clean it up. Now you could add presents behind the kitten if you want. You can add a tree. You can add any kind of detail you want. But there is, oh I did forget one thing. Some kittens have this sort of letter M. It kind of goes out like that, then an M, and then out like that. So you can always add that if you like. And we may want to add some claws in there. They're retracted or inside, but you can usually see that. And there you go. Now you can color your kitten. Now my kitten has a twin. Have a lot of fun with this. Happy holidays. And I really enjoy drawing with you. Bye. See you next time.